Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So Harley Davidson dropped a huge bomb on us. We got some, we got some huge news. We got some huge news. The dawn of a new era. All new Street Glide, all new Road Glide, all new CVO Road Glide ST, all new CVO Pan America. And guess what? There's a lot more. I mean, th th this is a huge bomb, and I'm even surprised that Harley Davidson just released all this information for us, dropped this atomic bomb on us, and we're just five days away from the launch next Wednesday. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, it's crazy. Like, I, I just, I can't wrap my head around why they would just kind of tell us all this right now, five days before the launch. And then they add, and there's more. So it's like, I mean, this is a lot already, but then, and more is like, Jesus, like what, what is it that we're gonna be expecting next Wednesday? So let's just dive into this real quick. Let's dissect this and, and just go over everything of what we know so far. So if you have been snooping around the Harley Davidson website for the past few weeks, you're gonna see that pretty much all the 2024 models are up there with the exception of a few. And it's pretty much whatever they dropped on us today, that atomic bomb. These are basically all the models that were missing from the whole lineup and plus more and more. So we did see that the Road Glide and Street Glide weren't there. So now, now we are confirmed that these models are coming out. We got a picture right here to see in the background. Um, and yes, and I was right when I did my prediction video. Um, the new Road Glide and Street Glide are, are gonna be getting the new body frame on the bikes, which is awesome. So right in this picture right here, I do see some chrome right there. And then I was going back and forth looking at the, the trailer that they, that they debuted for the Dawn of the Era. And you do see more chrome parts, especially in the Road Glide. You see the chrome mirrors, you see the chrome crash bar on the front. So right ahead that told me, hey, listen, we're gonna have a chrome special. I'm pretty sure an all blacked out special as well, but that's, uh, that's that, that looks like a special right there. But real quick, drop your, your thoughts in your comments down below. Like, what do you, what do you guys wanna see? You wanna see the all black components? You wanna see more chrome components now? A lot of people have been asking for more chrome stuff. Now the all new, CVO Road Glide ST. Now they, they put that out there. Now is it safe to say that there isn't going to be just an ST model for the Road Glide Street Glide? Is it now just going to be a CVO? Um, I mean, I don't know. Like that to me kind of. I, I don't know. I just maybe I should have taken more time to do this video because I just I still can't wrap my head around the whole ordeal of the CBO ST model. We saw how well the Road Glide and Street Glide CBO models did uh, last year. They were selling like hotcakes and they were pretty much the bikes that everybody wanted when it came to the baggers. I mean, you got the 117 on there, what the ones from last year had the 117, the bronze wheels, higher suspension in the back, and a few other little things there. And now they're telling us this is gonna be a CBO Road Glide ST, like, damn, like, th this is gonna be special. now. What I wanna know is, going forward, is the ST model only gonna be part of the CVO lineup? Like, if you want a, a CVO ST model, which in a way for me, it kinda of makes sense because if you think about an ST, you're thinking about performance. So you want a lot of power out of that, performance-wise, different suspension. Um, and if you're thinking about CVO, you're thinking about top of the top, best of the best. Now, your average CVO, rider doesn't really care too much about performance they just want their bike to look really nice and like to have that feeling of hey i got the the best of the best right now when you bring both of these ideas together and put it in one that that to me is like a that that to me right there is a grand slam that that's what we're gonna call it we're gonna call it the grand slam of the Harley bikes. Because not only this bike is gonna be special because of the CVO, but it's also gonna be an ST. So I'm pretty sure that Harley Davidson is definitely cooking up some stuff. That they're gonna they're gonna throw a lot at this bike and it's definitely gonna stand out from whatever is out there right now. Um I, I really can't wait to see. I mean are, can we expect a bigger motor in this bike or not? Is it gonna have the 121 with the with the VVT would would it have a bigger motor? Like it's it's a lot of questions that I'm pretty sure I have and I know that you guys out there have. So drop your thoughts right now. Do you think the CBO Road Glide ST model is gonna have a bigger motor than the 121 or is it gonna be the 121 and just a lot of little different add-ons on there? That model was honestly the one that kind of stood out to me the most. 
Um, and then lastly, lastly but not least, which which kind of came from left field. Like I I really wasn't expecting Harley to do this. A CVO model of the Pan America, which is like what? Like I, I would have expected a CVO model of like the low rider, a low rider ST, but a Pan America, like I don't know, I just I just I just I wasn't expecting that. And it's and and from the paint and the in the picture that we see in the background, the black and red, I mean uh, I, you guys know I love black and red. Uh, it, it, it looks super cool. The paint looks awesome from what we see right now in this little snippet. Um, and you're able to see the big Harley Davidson number one in the tank, which is pretty cool as well. Now, it kind of makes me think, well, we got a Pan America CPO. Like, what could they be doing different to this Pan America from the others? Because, I mean, the, the, the Pan America has been out for the last two years or so, um, and it's... And it's I, it's it's like what else can they do to it to add on to make it more special, different colors obviously yes, um, but but what else will the bike come with? Is it gonna come with the whole bag setup already? Is it gonna come with a different type of wheels? Is it gonna come with a bigger motor? Is it gonna have different add-ons? Is it gonna have more technology? I mean, you think about Pan America. Pan America is, is a really cool bike that Harley Davidson released, and it kind of took everyone by surprise. God damn it, these last few years have been crazy for the company with the amount of new models they've been coming out with, the amount of upgrades they've been doing to the bikes, the changes they've been making. I mean, it's like, it's a lot. And it's like one thing after another, after another, after another. It's like they're, the, the company is kind of giving everyone, all of us consumers, what we've been asking for. And it's it's awesome, man. It's awesome that they're you know that that they're listening to everything that the consumers are saying, that are talking about all the things that we want on the bikes. And it's damn. And I was just like, here, 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 here. Anyways, that's gonna be it. I'm still trying to digest all this information that we got right now. We're five days away from the launch, the dawn of a new era. I will be uploading another video on Sunday, talking specifically just about that. What to expect what's coming out and then i am also thinking about maybe doing a live for the launch so if you guys are interested in that let me know drop your thoughts in your comments down below if you want to do a live with me while the launch is going on we could talk about everything as it's happening um i don't know it's it's up in the air i i didn't want to do it but i kind of want to do it and i'm like eh, i don't know so let me know also let me know about all this information that harley davidson just threw at us today um, it's it's a lot, I know, um, but I'm very eager to know what you guys think. Next week as well, we're gonna be finally installing the suspension on this bike. We got the suspension in already. We're gonna be adding some more chrome parts as well, so tune in for that video and a bunch of other cool stuff coming in down the pipeline. We are now back to our normal upload schedule. Uh, I haven't been uploading that much stuff because just came out of the holidays. Work has been crazy. Um, there's just a lot going on and I just, I, I kind of tamed it down a bit, toned it down a bit. I was uploading three or four videos a week. Um, and now I'm like, I've been doing it for the last few weeks, maybe one, two videos. Uh, but we're going to go back to uploading at least two to three videos a week for you guys as well. So if you've been missing more content, then you're definitely in the right place. And if you're not yet subscribed, God damn it, go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button so I don't you anytime I upload any type of new content. And if you want to see new Harley Davidson information, content, and all this good stuff, you're definitely in the right place. I'm going to get you guys the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.